Oh, hello. I didn't notice either. I was just thinking about the great adventures that are in the Bible. In fact, there's one that goes along with Christmas really well. Would you like me to try and find it for you? Yes. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's here. That wasn't far enough into the Bible, but that's a great story. Giant boat, tons of animals, floods. Did you know that we're all related to Noah? He's our, great, he's our grandfather with about 74 greats in front of it. But you know as well as I do that the unicorns didn't stay patiently in line. <laughs> all right, let's see. Wait. What? That was only six times. Six times? Are you sure? Yes, definitely only six times. Better march around that wall one more time. Yes, we better. Thank you. <sighs> Ooh, that was a close one. You can thank me later for not letting them blow that horn and letting the walls to crumble around us. I think I have found it. All you scared of cats, why don't you come out here and fight me? I'll give your flesh to the birds and the wild animals. Do you come at me with swords, spear, and javelin, but I come at you with the name of the sword. Some of the stories in the Bible are a little scary. Don't recommend reading that one before bed. <laughs> I have found it. Later, later, an angel of the Lord appeared to me in a dream. You have conceived the child of the Holy Spirit, our son. We will call him Jesus and he will save his people from their sins. A short while later. Come 
you sleep, Testament, the seal of the story of our Savior, the Messiah, plays out. 